All right. Do you guys remember the couple in St. Louis that pointed guns at the Black Lives Matter protesters? Turns out they have been signing the pictures and selling them. Kind of like uh, George Zimmerman with his bags of Skittles. Only... Only Zimmerman didn't violate copyright law <laughs> to to sign the bags of Skittles. They are used... The photographer who shot a viral photo of the couple has sent them a bill after discovering that they had turned his photo into greeting cards without his permission. Now, the, this couple is a bunch of attorneys. The photo was captured by United Press International. By the way, they offered me a job about this time last year. <laughs> Eleven fifty an hour, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Photojournalist William Greenblatt, who wasn't happy after seeing uh, images of the greeting cards in his Twitter feed, he hadn't given the couple permission to use his photo in any way, and therefore their cards seemed to be a clear-cut case of copyright infringement. Being lawyers, they should know copyright laws, but apparently they feel like they don't need to adhere to any of that. Of course not, because rules don't apply to Republicans. Rules don't apply to right-wingers. Those, those are only for the people right-wingers don't like. In response to the cards, Greenblatt sent the couple a bill. And UPI sent them a cease and desist letter. Charged them $1,500. That's great. Thank you in advance for your understanding of this matter. Now, the couple has sued the photographer. I don't remember. What their claims are in the suit. I don't know how they can do that. Sue UPI photographer over iconic images during protest. Boy, the internet is acting really weird tonight, isn't it? First it was YouTube, and now it's whatever this side is. St. Louis today. <sighs> oh, oh, I can't read it because I have to sign up? This is a problem with our news in this country. You can go to fucking any right-wing site and read news. They sell a bunch of ads on it. I'm going to find out what they're suing for exactly, because I can't imagine what they're taking him to court for. I think I saw where they, they argued he was on their property or some shit. They're lawyers. They should know the laws, but I mean... This is, this is probably just a slap suit. A lawsuit meant to discourage people and to try to silence them. A very common tactic among right-wing assholes. 